Okay, so I figured, I figured that since, you know, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are coming out soon, I guess by the time this is recording, it would be like a month maybe? It will be like another month. So I figured, since I didn't finish, I didn't complete this one. I finished the main story, but you know, you have to do like the post, what is it? The post game, I guess. Even though I guess it's technically part of the story because I haven't, because I haven't caught um, most of the legendaries. So, and you have to fight this guy, right? Yeah, I didn't do that yet. According to my own investigations, oh my god. Wait, I'm not ready. Who do I have in front? Oh, that's not bad. Oh yeah, I named all my Pokemon after... Oh, what the fuck did I do? This one's named after the, the, the um, dog from Neo. I think the first Neo. You know, like the, the, the lightning dog from Muneshige and Ginchio. I think they share a name, I'm not quite sure. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had information about, so that's that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there are still more plates left out, whatever, for us to find. Not to worry though, I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about all about the plates. Yes, that lady. All the more reason to pay her a visit. Oh yeah, so basically I I was like, oh my god, I was trying so hard. Look at all this. Look at this shit. It took me so fucking long. It took me so long. I even got the, I even got the, uh... I even got the spear tomb and the stupid unknown. <laughs> but let's see. I, I have played Pokemon since Gen 1, freaking red and OG red and blue. Back when it was fucking black and white. Was it even black? I remember it being black and white. Even though it was on the Game Boy Color. I mean, maybe they were really limited on which colors they could use. I mean, that one... That, but then again, when I started playing it, though, like like I was only a couple years old. So I didn't really understand what to do, where to go. And what was happening for Gen 1 and Gen 2. Gen 3, Gen 3 was kind of the same, not that I was too young, but like, I think story was one of those things I just never paid attention to. I guess until Gen 4 and 5. Because, I mean, maybe, well, actually, Gen 5 focused more on a story. Maybe that's why I kind of liked it more. Um, it's about the plates. I mean, I guess they both work because it's about Arceus and the plates. They're the Pokemon of the lakes and the temple gem. Oh, get the fuck out. Do I have to do some bullshit puzzle to get a Regigigas? The Crescent Moon, Cresselia, the Volcano, Heatran. What about Darkrai? Perhaps he might even return to the very beginning. What would you hear of? Who's the beginning? I don't know who the beginning is. I know the three lake Pokemon, the volcano, the crescent moon, the temple giant, whatever. Let's we'll go in order. Unless we can just ask about them all. 
Well, that okay. Yes, the other ones. Oh, do we have to catch the rest of like the other the Reggies? I don't really like the Reggies. They're kind of weird. Look, lady, you should have seen how hard I worked on this freaking Pokédex. You, I will show you every entry. I got them all except the legendaries. I will gladly show you, Grandma Cynthia. <laughs> Pokémon are the key to our search. If we gather all the plates from them and decipher the message on the back, we can meet Arceus. This, I did not realize this would actually probably, this will actually take me a while to finish. Well, not a while, but like maybe at least two parts because now I have to catch all these Pokemon. Heck, it might not even take that long. Okay, we'll go get this one at the beach first. I don't know who the fuck it could be. Who's a, who's a legendary? The, oh, you have to, f you, have, you can catch, um, can't you catch Thunderous and Landorus here? Not here, but like in this game. Oh, I don't know who I'm going to be fighting. Oh, but, oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot that I was, I had like finished Spiritomb's Pokedex entry and then I just was like, fuck it, I'm done. I forgot you can't dash. I don't know why I thought you could sprint. <laughs> like my my unknown collection or un it's unknown unknown it's not unknown it's unknown okay here's my team so we have Jolteon the ver like my my starter is Oshawa I love Oshawa and I named him Motochika because that's what his perfect link was it was an Oshawa in Pokemon Conquest I think. This is, a, I think it was, I think the Arcanine was named after like the fire dog from, I was about to say from Okami, hell no, no, from Neo. I think it might have been the first one, but it also might have been the second one because they both have fire dogs. And then Ron Maru was named after Ron Maru because I think Lucario was his perfect link in Pokemon Conquest. And we have Oichi because of course, of course, of course. You know what though? If if we had if there was a Hydreigon or a um or if you can catch a, a, a Zekrom or Rayquaza, it would have been a Nobunaga. It could have been a Nobunaga. Oh yeah, and then and then Garchomp was named after I think the shark from Neo and or Neo too because they both had a shark too. And I was like, oh great, this is the one time I can name them like Japanese themed names and it can actually stick or it'll fit with the area or whatever. Wait, oh, why? Why? There's literally no point. I did not anticipate this at all. You know what? In Pokemon, I don't know if we can in in the Scarlet and Violet. It'd be nice if we could just move around like this. Like, hey, Commander. Hey, hey, Commander. You want to hear a joke? I wanted to put Frost Frostlass in my team, but but there was no room. I knew I would probably need an Ice type because Garchomp is scary. That's also pretty scary, but it's not so bad. I should have probably checked the items I have, like if I have enough revives. I think I have some hyper potions, but not. Let's see. I think my favorite evolution, just for utility and just for usefulness, is probably Jolteon, just because it has like the high. It's fast as fuck, first of all, and it also has the highest special attack. It can't really take hits, but that's okay. You know who I'm not so you know who I'm surprised that's not in this game? Like either either sock or throw. Either of them. I feel like they fit really perfectly here, so I'm 
Like maybe more throw than sock because it's like a like a sumo dude thing. Can they be female? I mean, I'm pretty sure at the beginning, God was literally like, yeah, help me out. <laughs> okay, thanks. You're welcome. I have protagonist power. Oh, that was it. I was about to be like, yo, I didn't fight. I didn't get to catch a legendary. No, we just had to fucking fight him. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Wait, what festival? Now I'm just confused. This is, this is just my bad for not playing this for so long. Hello. Thank you for coming so far out of your way. No, I need these plates to call God. To bring back God. Oh yeah, about that. Seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she asked us to check the lava dome sanctum without her. What the nerve? She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Might as well get this over with. Oh shoot, who did I have in the front? Oh, I think I put Jolteon in the front. <laughs> oh my god. Guobo. Guobo bobo. <laughs> oh sh- wait, 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 I'm not fucking ready. Oh wait. A ball of mud? Am I supposed to throw this at it? I might be supposed- I might- what, what am I talking about? It's not freaking Heatran is trying to attack me. What the- Ah! Wait a second, let me- Let me live! Why? Oh, can I- just hold on, man. I said hold on, please. I get it. I mean, ow. It's a girl! Oh my god. Wait, is he trans supposed to be... A female? <laughs> okay, but anyway, um... I mean, we're at an advantage, but we're still at a disadvantage. Maybe... Maybe if I do, like, an Agile... Maybe if I just stick to Agile style. Oh, and don't crit, please. Can I come back? I feel like you'd be able to come back if you don't catch these things. Yay! My god, thanks for just standing around while I was freaking dying. 900 pounds, 5'7"? Oh, I guess I caught that. I was like, how is a fucking hair across 10 foot? And I was like, oh, it must have been the... I think I caught the I caught the alpha version. Oh my god, I was playing Yakuza 7. I guess that's technically the name for it, Yakuza 7. I know they did, what is it, like a dragon, something, 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 something. Or it's literally just like a dragon. But why, why are they... I mean, I guess because it has nothing to do with the Yakuza itself anymore or maybe they just associated the y y yakuza name branding with uh with kiryu and i am going the wrong way i guess maybe i'm going the wrong way not oh oh maybe i was going the wrong way wait a second wait a second i <laughs> Be 
because the next game, you know, like the the one that's like Way of the Samurai or whatever, is called Like a Dragon Ishin, right? I'm definitely playing that. I look good. I like when I saw that shit. Like the Japanese version, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna get, it did not get localized, and I was so sad. But now it is getting localized, and I'm happy. I forgot when it's coming out, though. I'm looking forward to that. Octopath 2. Oh, and I guess Story of Seasons. They come out next year, right? And technically Fire Emblem, but that comes out like January. That comes out pretty, it's pretty close. Oh shit, I forgot. I mean, I also could have named the Arcanine Shisa. Because it kind of looks like one. Oh shit. Alright, maybe I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna fucking run. Great. Amazing. Fantastic. Oh, please don't. I mean, it's too bad that it... What? It, what is its skill? I've never used Regigigas. It has... What is it? Slow start? Oh shit. Oh, so it was good that we got the, uh, the whatever plate first. Okay, bye. Unless I have to talk to someone. Nope, okay. Oh, do we have to fight all of them? Reggie Steele. I mean, if I really had to give my opinion on which, on, like, the Reggies... Reggie Steel would probably be. It's probably the better designed one, even though, unfortunately, isn't it? They had to change its sprite in one of these. Oh, shit. They had to change its sprite because it looked like it was doing the Nazi salute, right? So I think they had. They put its arms down instead of the, you know, that way. Yep, definitely. A it's fucking moving, girl. I don't know what kind of move set it would have. Maybe it maybe it's like an extra Snorlax. I don't know. Or maybe if I can get a paralyze off on it. Alright, wait, let me save first. <laughs> Just in case. It's like going up to the gym or whatever, the Elite Four member and you save beforehand. Zut zut. Oh, we just fight it. Okay, good. No bullshit like the other thing. Okay, this music slaps though. It's like a mix between the uh, lake, you know, the lake trio music. Alright, we'll just thundershock it and... Oh, okay, we can do that. Damn! Can it get paralyzed, please? <gasps> okay, maybe I'll just lob some balls at it. Do I not even have to catch the other three? I think Reg Ice is probably second. Reggie Rock looks kind of whack. Oh, you know what? Doesn't Reg Ice have like that really cool sounding cry though? <laughs> Alright, this is going faster than I thought. This is... Wait, I don't think I can fast travel here, can I? <gasps> I can. Oh my god. I think my favorite gen was Gen 5 because of the story. Like, that's when the story actually got interesting where it's like... Oh, you know, kind of like the PETA of Pokemon where it's like... Oh, finally someone brings up, you know... Well, not that it's inhumane or whatever keep them in pokeballs but the whole liberate them because you know why would they want to be stuck in there or used for fighting or whatever which i thought was interesting of course you know you beat it with the power of friendship but oh this is ooksie right yeah ooksie oh okay I did not know we were just popping off like that. Sounds like a Deoxys theme. 
Oh my god, what if he was in this game? You know, well, you know what? I will always remember. Oh shoot. What? That's not right. Well, that wasn't fair. I was literally paralyzed for one turn. Look, I can do this all day. I felt threatened. I forgot what the jump button was. My bad. <laughs> well, I pressed the wrong button. Not that I forgot. I just pressed the wrong button. Oh, wait. Who? I mean, I guess we can try it again. The paralysis thing. Oh, it's Mesprit, okay. The funniest thing that I remember about this stupid thing is that back in Gen 4, when they were like roaming, you know how they were the roaming ones? I ran into Mesprit. I blizzarded, I blizzarded it. <laughs> I used blizzard on it. It fucking froze and it still kept running. Like, and I was, as a kid, Utter confusion. Utter confusion. Like, how the fuck does that work if it's frozen and it can still run? Okay, maybe we can try it. Maybe I should try. Should I do one more? I have a turn after this. We'll do Agile style. Agile style, one more. Another one. Oh, okay. I like their old theme. That shit slapped. Wait, you're telling me that this thing is not even a pound? It looks kind of thick on the bottom.